Indie Shooter. Brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro Film and Digital, Black Magic Design, and Carl Size. Hi, this is Henry from Band Pro Film and Digital. Today to go over with you the version 2 software for the Sony Venice. Uh, this was a recently released software update that uh, really opened up the camera to allow new functions and uh, options for users and shooters. Uh, some of the first things are new image modes, uh, new 6K and 4K imagers, um, 17x9, 185, uh, a couple new um, aspect ratios that users can have access to um, that weren't available in the first version of the initial release of the camera. Besides that, we had a removable PL mount. We now have an active E mount underneath this. Uh, it's a uh, lever locking, pretty similar to the FS7 Mark II. So the removable PL will give you access to the E mount, which will give you a wide variety of Sony lenses as well as the option to adapt from there. With Sony lenses, you will be able to have full iris control, but not iris, auto iris or auto focus, just iris control. Um, so that's one important thing to note. But now the mount is active, so any user that has E-mount lenses can use that on here as well. In addition to that, with the sensor, a new option that comes out with the version 2 is we now have dual native ISO. So we have a base ISO of 500 or 2500 for night exteriors, interiors, places where you're going to need uh, that extra light um, and or with slower lenses. Um, this will now allow you to compensate for that and be able to use the camera in more, uh, more settings. It'll also expand the ISO, so you'll be able to go up to uh, 10,000, um, as opposed to with the base ISO of 500, you have a limit of 2,000. So now you have a couple more ISO options in there as well. In addition to that, we now have the ability to do dual recording. Specifically, we can now do ProRes internally on the Venice. So uh, up until now, you can do your RAW and XOCN on the R7 externally. But now we can do ProRes 422, 422 HQ, and 422 proxies internally uh, in full HD. So being able to do ProRes and doing it simultaneously are two new features of the version 2 software. Besides that, in the dual native ISO, we have a couple other um, functionality things, uh, some more buttons that are usable on the operator side, um, some more customizable buttons. We also have now um, a more partially functioning LAN control. So you're going to be able to do a lot more of the um, basic settings uh, through um, Ethernet. So you can do uh, NDs, uh, stop and start record, um, frames per second, uh, and a couple other basic features um, that will now be accessible. And then with the version 3 software, we'll have full control of the camera. Um, so that'll give users to be able to interconnect cameras or have it all run to a computer system um, for their specific needs. Um, besides that, we can now also load in LUTs and LUT presets um, that can get loaded right in and saved to the camera um, via the SD slot. We have a high key and high and low key option that's available so um, users can check their high range exposures and low range. Um, since the camera can record 16 stops at dynamic range, but most monitors can't show 16 stops, the high and low keys will allow you to check those upper and lower stops of exposure to make sure everything's contained within there and uh, you're not losing any data. We have some more false color and user options available in the viewfinder uh, within its own menu system um, that can be controlled uh, through here. Um, we have um, your focus ma uh, magnification. Now what it's doing as opposed to having a 10, 1080 uh, signal in the viewfinder magnifying in, looking at a more standard depth image, you're now getting a, uh, about a 2K or a 4K uh, image. So when you magnify in, you're actually magnifying into 1080. So you're gonna have a higher quality uh, magnification uh, to check your focus for the operator. Besides that, there's a couple other functions in the menu that will allow you to have, um, within certain imager modes, uh, surround view. So surround view will give you a 5% uh, look around um, around your recorded, uh, your recorded image. So operators or um, ACs, most of the operators will be able to look for seat stands or um, you know, things that might um, get in their way of operating. They can look at the 5% look around and see all that. Um, for surround view, it's only specific imagers, and that will limit some of your um, uh, 
uh, your options uh, in recording, but the surround view is really helpful for a lot of operators. Um, we do have a couple other little things such as frame rates. We now have variable uh, selected frame rates. Um, this changes between your image mode, so you know, 6K uh, full frame. We can only do 1 to 29 frames, but you know, as you work down to the 4K options, um, that can increase from 1 to 60 frames. So some more frame rates. Um, we're not as fixed as we were with the version 1. We have a lot more variable options in between there. Um, and so that's really nice for uh, operators and different clientele. The version 2 software is fully released and available now for both the R7 and the Sony Venice. And the version 2 is really what opens up this camera and sets it apart from anything else that's really out there right now. If you have any more questions about the Sony Venice or the version 2 software, please feel free to give us a call or check out our website at bandpro.com. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro Film and Digital, Blackmagic Design, and Carl Size.